And it's estimated that a billion tonnes of food is thrown away each year across the world because it's contaminated by naturally occurring poisons. It's believed that much of it still goes undetected because the process of testing is expensive and laborious. Well, now a Kent firm has spent more than £3 million developing a new machine which will make it easier to detect the fungal toxins that are found in products like nuts. Our environment correspondent Yvette Austin has the latest in our food chain series. Making a hazelnut puree, the first stage of a testing process that can detect harmful toxins in food. In the developing world, fungal mycotoxins are a particular problem. They thrive in warm, humid conditions and can affect a wide variety of crops, from nuts and cereals to coffee and cocoa. It's estimated a quarter of crops are contaminated worldwide and they can be deadly. They can affect the kidney, they can affect the liver. Uh, some actually produce cancer. Uh, in, in Europe, um, the, the risks, of course, are much less than, say, in the developing world, where, where some of the uh, toxin-contaminated uh, foods form part of the, the staple diet. But nonetheless, because some of these toxins can produce cancer, the uh, EU, for example, has uh, very strict uh, regulations. The old way of testing requires scientists and time. The new way is simple. So this is the equipment that people have to use at the moment. It's very expensive, very complex, uh, has to be used by trained scientists. Whereas if we go across here, this is the uh, instrument, the toxicot instrument, which we developed. As you can see, it's very compact. It's much less expensive than the other equipment and it can be used specifically by a non-scientist. A minute amount of hazelnut extract can get a reading in just a few minutes. This is uh, showing us uh, the amount of uh, aflatoxins and uh, there are strict limits on to the amount of aflatoxins and aflatoxin B1 into food samples. From small beginnings at Kent Science Park, the firm hopes to launch its machine worldwide in the spring. Yvette Austin, BBC South East Today, Sittingbourne.